I'm, I'm looking behind you, Andy. I don't know if you can see it, Robert, but I'm seeing what looks like an original Bob Kane of Batman and Robin. I, that that is, Robert, do you have any connection to Batman in any way that we that we might? Uh... I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if an original Bob Kane is behind me here. No, there's no behind uh, Andy. Oh, yeah. it's behind Andy. Oh, behind Andy. I'm sorry. Uh, Bob Kane came. I, I met him one time. I met him one time. That was it. Uh, it was great fun. I mean, uh, uh, you know, Batman's Batman. I mean, the well, I'll t my experience on Batman is so it's a big story. Uh, but the thing about it is that every superhero director and movies and everything, uh, they should all give a royalty to Tim Burton because that's what started. I mean, before that, it was, you know, nothing. I mean, Tim Burton was the genius behind the whole thing. I mean, every, like I said, everybody should owe a royalty to him um, because it was all his vision. It was totally his, it wasn't, it certainly wasn't Goobers and Peters version. You know, people forget, people forget, uh, unless you're of a certain age, how much of a backlash there was to the casting of Michael Keaton as Batman. If there had been social media back then, I don't think he would have survived. I don't think, <laughs> I know that's that's not a joke. I don't think I, I agree know. with you. I, I don't agree. think the studio would have now what people don't understand is that the people who had the backlash were the diehard dark knight type of gothic comic books type of thing, you know, because Goober and Peters, the producers, they they didn't see the dark that Tim Burton did. Because I once asked, uh, I forgot which one it was. I go, if you hadn't gotten Michael Keaton. Who did you want to cast as Batman? And do you know who their answers were? Bill Murray or Chevy Chase. So they were not going in the direction that Tim Burton was. Tim was going darker. They won. In fact, they got rid of Tim Burton because they thought he went too dark, which we can already make a case for with the second movie. But uh, but no, they weren't thinking that. They wanted bang zoom Batman, which which is funny because you know to me I did not like the Adam West series, and and, and in, it's interesting that. To today's generation, they kind kind of look at the Jack Nicholson Batman the way I look at Adam West Batman. It's interesting, interesting. it is because they they don't want the jokey. They want it darker and darker and darker. That's just a generational thing. Everything is dark. I just read today that the new Batman with Pattinson is three hours long, which is absurd. But uh, uh, the thing is, as dark as you know, they're a different animal. The Batman. Uh, the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman series. It's a different animal. You have to judge them in a different way. I look at it this way. I, I, in my opinion, in the first sequence of Batman, and I'll take, I'm talking about the Tim Burton through the Joel Schumacher stuff. If you put them end to end together, the five movies, I would suggest that every hour gets progressively worse. Uh, I mean, until they're unwatchable. Yeah, that's that's that that version now. And then this generation, it's a whole darker thing. The only thing I will say about the Tim Burton movies, at least the first one anyway, there was still a sense of fun. I mean, Jack is fun. He's funny. Okay. He's making jokes. It's fun. He had the Prince music. It's fun. I, I, unless you have to have a different gener a different definition. But I don't find the Dark Knight, as good as they are, fun uh, in the same sense. But then again, fun takes on a different uh, 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 takes on a different level. Uh, uh, each generation. <laughs>